Today we're going to be looking at some new horror games coming in 2022. The Sadistic Tormentor. There's going to be Unholy. Stray Souls. The Outlast Trials. Negative Atmosphere. And Ikai. I think that's how you pronounce it. Now before we get into it, please hit the subscribe and like button as it really helps. Right, let's do this. So first up, we've got Negative Atmosphere. Now this has been made by a UK based indie team. It seems that it's been at least partially funded through Patreon, though it is indie that seems to be a decent sized team working on the game. Now this is a third person horror survival game. You're going to be trapped on the Russinov, the Void ship. You will play as Samuel Edwards, the chief medical officer. There's been some sort of outbreak on the ship which has turned your crewmates into vile deformed creatures intent on killing you. And you need to fight them or evade them. You have to leave the ship, and there's only Let's one way out. To do so, you need to cross the entire ship, and you'll need to salvage and make use of what you can on the way. Now, the main focus of the game seems to be controlling the player's mental state and keeping him sane. Every choice is said to affect how you will cope with future situations. Apparently, you need to learn the character's values along the way. Doing things he classes morally wrong or morally right will affect future outcomes. Most of the ship's crew are meant to fall into the mysterious outbreak, but not all, so there may be some people to assist you along the way. And there are also robots in the ship which will become stable, so some will attack you while others are devolved into a state of panic. It's meant to be a third person mode, but it's only when you cook a special suit, otherwise the game is played entirely in third person in an over the shoulder sort of camera style. Now the game has been compared to Dead Space, which is fair as it does seem very similar, working your way through a very claustrophobic ship with monsters chasing you down the corridors. The team say they took inspiration from Dead Space, System Shock and Soma. You're going to be able to use your character's medical assistance to assist other crew members and yourself, but also to craft weapons to assist you fight the deformed monsters that hunt you through the ship. Now the playthroughs are meant to change, so just because you've been through an area once before, you may not face the same creatures when you pass through there again, with monsters spawned changing. Now the game's going to be coming out on PC only for now, though they are interested in looking for a third party to possibly report it to consoles. Now there's no release date, but it's slated for 2022. If you're interested in backing on Patreon, the top tier backers will get access to a demo sort of early access version of the game, and that'll be for around £15 or $20 a month. So next up we've got Stray Souls. This seems to borrow heavily from the likes of Silent Hill. Now you'll play Daniel, a young man who has recently inherited a house from his grandma. The game is going to feature a lot of puzzles, psychological elements and combat. It's stated to be randomised as well so no two playthroughs will be the same. There'll be random hauntings and paranormal events with plenty of jump scares which I hate anyway. The game is meant to feature a large amount of dialogue options which can result in multiple different game endings. Now during the game you're going to speak with a friend of yours, Martha, who knows a lot more about these you than you know. The game is based on real life stories of hauntings and the paranormal, with the team taking advice from people who've used Ouija boards as an example. Now, there's a demo available on Steam, and I watched a video of the gameplay. It does look quite well polished, and it's definitely scary. Though the character's movement is a bit funky, and he seems to wobble around as he's moving like a lot of weevil. Personally, if I'd inherited that place, I'd have thrown it for auction and would have bothered to pay a visit. Now up next we've got the Outcast Trials, and now I can't say that I've played either of the first two Outlast games, but horror games are just not my thing. Zombie games I love, but scary games I'm not really a fan. But the previous two were very highly rated. Now you and a friend are going to find yourself in a Soviet era facility that's using human guinea pigs to test advanced mind control techniques, or torture, however you want to word it. The gameplay looks to be mostly aimed at co-op, with the players assisting each other over obstacles and catching each other after jumping gaps. Though they create a state that the game will be single player as well. Now looking at the discussion board, this seems to annoy a lot of the old previous fan base who were expecting a single player only game. The game looks very intense with the player kicking open doors and always seems to be involved in close-up combat with all sorts of horrifying creatures. Though it looks like the player seems to die in nearly all of the encounters so I'm not sure if you'll actually better kill these things. The narration in the video is good if not creepy but somehow I don't believe him when they say we're here to help you. Now it's promising cross-platform play and it's going to come out on PC and both generations of Xboxes and Playstations sometime in 2022. We are all going to get better together. Okay, up fourth we've got Ikai. 
You'll play as Naoko, a priestess who's going to be stuck wandering around a haunted shrine. That's going to borrow heavily from old Japanese superstitions and folklore. You'll not be finding this one as Naoko is nearly defenceless. The aim of the game here will be solving puzzles and exploring while trying to find out your own story. You'll need to draw protective seals to protect yourself from the strange events and hauntings that surround you. And if that fails, you can only rely on stealth or running away to save yourself. There's a demo of the game available on Steam and it's also going to be coming out on PS4, PS5 and Nintendo Switch. Now here we've got the game Unholy. You're going to be playing as Cider. She's a mother who's looking for her abducted child through the remnants of the last city on a dying planet. The whole description of this game confused me because none of what they described seems to be shown in the actual trailer. The city is meant to be divided by a caste system and you need to work your way through the city either by stealth, avoiding guards, or disguising yourself like different caste members, or they say you can murder everyone in your path leaving a trail of blood behind you. Now the city is meant to be in the grip of a plague and at night the streets are filled with maniacs and weird monsters. Now this is what I find strange is the trailer just seems to show monsters at all points and not much in the way of any civilised society or any of that gameplay. You're going to need to take care of your mental health along the way, or you can just slaughter everyone and embrace the madness. You can play it how you want, but there will be consequences. I'd like to see an actual video of the gameplay, as the description in the trailer just seem at odds to me. Now, I left this one last for a reason. Now, Tor Tormentor, this, if it actually comes out, is going to be banned in a few countries for sure. You basically play the role of a torturer working for organised crime, and you can upgrade an old prison with new devices and tools to inflict pain on your victims who have been sentenced to death. Now there are a lot of features here that are going to hit the media for sure. The whole victim customization thing, that's not going to go down well. The ripping people's teeth out with pliers and gouging out eyes, I mean it's there for shock value and I get it. But even on the Steam discussion board it's mostly negative saying what the fuck is this. Now one thing I will say, the narration is really good. I speak Spanish and that voiceover is perfect for the video. And I'll leave it at that. But you tell me, does Tormentor take it too far for a game or not? Whatever you do, please subscribe and hit that like button. No! Please! Stop! You don't have to do this! Pierdete en la locura. Elige a tus víctimas. Cuídalas. Hello? Why are we here? Who did this to us? Y recompénsalas con la venganza. I wouldn't touch it. The manja. Personaliza a tu víctima.